All right, let's start out. I got a box of locks here from Texas Jim. Jim, thanks for the locks. I always love seeing uh, new stuff to pick. We got a, a quick set here. Works good. There's the uh, bidding on the key here. That'll be a fun one to get into because it looked like pin one had something challenging on it. I got another quick set. Uh, pretty good bidding on the key. Uh, got a real good low high right there at the back of the keyway. That'll be uh, fun to reach over. Uh, got a Abus 7240. He's uh, definitely done some pin work on this one. Got a old steel S-T-E-E-L-E -E -E, uh, discus type lock. It's got a uh, Yale style keyway. I've got a uh, brass bodied LAI padlock. I've got a uh, master number 81. It does work. I've got a Schlage here. Uh, pretty good bidding. I've got a good low and then uh, several high ones behind it. Yeah, I didn't want to turn after I stuck the key back in, but. I can work past that. I've got a uh, jet key and knob style lock. At least that's what the key says. Kind of looks like a quick set keyway, sort of. I've got a uh, Euro half cylinder uh, Yale keyway. Uh, pretty decent bidding on the key. That'll be fun to get into. Then I've got another one with his name engraved on it. Uh, definitely would be a challenge lock. And with all of those pins on it, I'd say it would be. And it is a, a Yale style keyway as well. So uh, let's start out see if we can't pick one of these for you. I don't want a real long video, so let's start out with this uh, LAI here. Now I have heard these are fairly easy to get into, especially with a, a zipping style attack. So uh, let's just start out with that and see if it works for me. There we go on the third zip. Got her open. Uh, no, definitely no security pins in here, and I know the tolerances in these locks aren't that great, so probably no real reason to single pin pick this one right now. Um, since that one kind of went easy, let's uh, go with this master lock. Let's uh, change tension wrenches here, get a fatter tension wrench. And let's just uh, slowly rock them in there. Just gently pushing up on them as we go back. Yeah, it feels like I overset, so let's just reset that guy. I'm feeling some things bounce around inside. Feel a little bit of feedback on these pins. And there we go, I overset something then. Let's go with a uh, little bit shorter hook here. And get it to sit on that pin. There we go. I'm oversetting again. Yep. These pins are a little bit of stiff. I probably should have stuck some WD-40 down in the lock. And there we go. We have it open. Right. Let's go ahead and lock that boy back up. All right. Everybody, stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. And don't pick any locks that aren't yours or 
any locks that you do not have permission to pick. Thank you.